Man, who is buying the cars here? Well, I guess that would be me. We got an awesome 69 Dodge Charger RTSE 440 Vintage Air Rotisserie Restored Leather Seats. This thing is amazing. But right now, why don't you join me and let's go for a spin. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures and read the information. You'll find the price tag of every car for sale along with a monthly finance payment as well at volocars.com. Now, this thing has been lowered, so it's got a nice, long, sleek stance. Uh, beautiful body. I mean, this thing is straight, fits beautifully. It's got the indented hood. Uh, all lines up square and flush and straight. Has the pen star on the fender, the scallops in the door. All beautiful, straight. No issues at all, not a dent, no shrinkage, no, no waves, no blisters. It's all in really nice shape. According to the fender tag, it was born a B5 blue car. This is all amazing. Now see this big chunky RT emblem? That's because there's no stripe. If you got the decal stripe, that would say RT. And you don't get the emblem. No stripe, you do get the emblem. Got the pop-up racing gas cap. But back to the body, it even feels slick. This is all really nice, straight, fits beautifully. All clean, straight, no rust, no damage. After just going around the car again, I don't really see anything to report to you. Uh, and here's a little, little touch-up right there. And... I'm not saying it's flawless. Okay, here's one right here, a little tiny touch-up. So there's going to be some imperfections, but, uh, I mean, overall, the body and paint's amazing. Up front's got the hideaway lights. They do work. The bumper's re-chromed. The grill is in excellent shape. Everything up here looks beautiful. Got the correct antenna, shiny. Looks like a new windshield. The gasket's soft. Stainless trim. Looks like it's been buffed out real nice. The mirror is nice and shiny. The chrome vent window, all that's in great shape. The black vinyl top, excellent condition. It has the SE special edition emblem on there. New door handle. New emblem we were talking about. Tail panel, bumper, all this back here. Another RT emblem. It's all in beautiful shape. Looks like they touched up the red with a little paint in there. Might have flaked off at one time. Back glass is real nice and clear. A couple really light scratches. So it's sitting on some wide 15-inch wheels. They're painted to match the car. It has the poverty hubcaps. Someone must have put this one on with a hammer. It's got some good dents in it, and it looks like a new hubcap. The others look to be in excellent shape. Those are available new. Uh, it's got some meaty Cooper tires on there, a little bit fatter and taller in the back. Here's another little touch-up right here. So there's going to be a couple little touch-ups. So yeah, the outside of the car is really amazing. Why don't we see what it looks like inside? All right, let's see what it looks like inside the trunk. I bet it's beautiful. And it is. Look how nice this is painted. The latch, the decal is real sharp looking. Jam is painted slick, new weather strip. And this right here, folks, is the VIN number of the car. It's stamped in a few places. That just helps verify this thing's legitimate. So it probably has a new trunk floor like they all did because it looks like brand new metal. It's all painted blue. Got a new mat. It does have a, a used spare tire, uh, but also has the jack assembly. So I'm going to say it's complete. Also, there's a trunk light that works under there. So yeah, that's a really nice, complete trunk compartment. We have a buy it now button on our website. You see something you're in love with, you hit that button and just get it locked up before someone else beats you to it. Door jams are painted slick. Weather strips are replaced. Now, being the SE, that's mostly an interior trim package. Door panel's in beautiful shape, but notice the, uh, the pocket below the armrest. That's part of the SE package. It doesn't come on a normal charger. Remote mirror. Also comes with the wood grain instrument panel. This has the rally gauges, so there's a tachometer, 
clock is not working. But all the gauges look to be in really nice shape. AM FM radio, that doesn't turn on. I tried it, but we do have working interior light. We do service the cars, but you got to draw the line somewhere. So something like a radio we don't fix, but we make sure. I uh, had an oil change in 2016. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we make sure that the car runs, drives, and functions really well for you. And we'll make sure the glove box closes for you, too. Kick panels, bright blue carpet, center consoles in really nice shape. Lights work. Now, the main feature of an SE is genuine leather front seats. This is the original leather. It's actually soft. It's nice and, and broken in like your favorite leather jacket. There's a button missing on this seat and the one I'm sitting on. So two little button covers are missing. Headrests are real nice. Right here, this original panel is a little bit beat up. The back seat's in excellent shape. It has all of its blue seat belts. Side panels are really nice. Headliner's in very good shape. Dome light works. Visors and mirror look really good. Also would have the wood grain steering wheel. It's original. It has one crack at the top. So overall, very nice interior. It's not brand new, but it's very nice. And those poverty hubcaps, we're going to go ahead. I'll just order up uh, the new hubcap for the car. So just remind the salesman if you're the lucky buyer of this one. So it is a genuine 440 car that's right in the VIN number. Uh, this is a correct 440. It's been rebuilt. Uh, it has some Pro Max aluminum heads, Edelbrock Performer intake, a dual feed Holly carb with electric choke. MSD ignition, and a set of coated headers. And then, of course, it's dressed up with the air cleaner and thinned valve covers, and it's got real nice fuel line. Everything on the firewall looks really good. Everything's painted real nicely. You got chrome hinges. Uh, I think that's the, yeah, the washer bottle. You got new horns. Uh, big aluminum radiator with dual electric fans to keep it cool, because they did add a vintage air and heat system, so it's climate control. I didn't show you the levers inside, they're electric, not the old cables. You just set the temperature you want, and it's climate control. Chrome alternator, chrome pulleys, aluminum water pump. It has power steering hiding down here, polished overflow bottle. These big batteries all bolted down properly. Uh, here's the fender tag here, we've decoded that. We'll post that on our website. Uh, but this matches the car real nicely. Got power brakes, hood insulation, and the whole engine bay and under the hoods painted real nicely. So yeah, nice motor compartment. Taking the 69 Charger RTSE around the block. I uh, just checked the turn signal. It does light up on the dash and the turn signal on the hood is functional. This thing gets up and goes, no problems. Shifts smoothly. Cruising over the bumps, everything feels pretty good so far. I love these big body Mopars. You don't get more classic than this. Speedometer's working, the tack is working, all the auxiliary cages are working. Let's see if the horn works. Horn works too. Perfect. Uh, I did try the parking brake when we were sitting there. Uh, that is hooked up and functional, and it holds and releases with no issues. Let's see what this baby's got. Steering smooth, takes off like a rocket. We're already doing 60 miles an hour. Uh, that was too quick for me. 
I want to keep driving this thing. I wanted to keep smashing the foot pedal down, but don't need a speeding ticket. This thing's so smooth. This is a great driving car, guys. Uh, windshield wipers work a little bit. Mirror's a little loose. I think you can tighten that and adjust it, no problem. Uh, all the dome, the dome lights work. All the interior light package. Let's see if the radio works. I believe this is the original radio. So, oh, well, we got something. Only from Xfinity. Yeah, it works. All right. So that's working. Uh, the fans, it has the electronic, what is that, a vintage air system or classic auto system that's been replaced, so uh, those work nice and smoothly. Got turn signal, flashes, cancels. This is an awesome car. You got people breaking their necks looking at it. B5 blue doesn't get better than this color. Probably my favorite Mopar, Mopar color to date. Uh, they even carried it onto newer year model muscle cars and it just looks just as good. Uh, but there you guys have it. Welcome back. I hope Caleb gave you a little fun on that test drive. So this was on a rotisserie. It means it was flipped upside down. That means everything was removed from the car. It was just a shell. Rust-free underside. It was prepped and painted the same B5 blue. And then it all went back together with new and rebuilt parts. The front end steering and suspension is all completely new. It is lowered uh, in back. It has lowering blocks to drop it down. And, you know, the bushings and shocks were replaced. Uh, it has a really nice sounding custom exhaust system under there with the right tips. Fuel system was replaced. New disc brakes up front. Rebuilt drums and back. The lines, the hoses were replaced. E-brake cables hooked up. You look up at the motor. It is literally spotless. It has a high torque starter. It has a B&M 727 torque plate automatic with a finned aluminum extra capacity oil pan it just keeps the oil cooler uh eight and three quarter rear end in the back so it's like new under the car yeah this is a really slick piece we get road runners and super bees and cudas and challengers very few chargers come through here i mean a couple a year go to volocars.com this is one you're going to want to consider at buy it now button uh, go to volocars.com. Salesmen will help answer the questions you have, including how do you get it home, how do you get it financed. Don't forget to subscribe to our website. Click on the bell or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you're notified as the videos are posted. Thanks for watching.